Hello everyone and welcome to a new virtual pet video. In this video I'm just providing another update of what I'm currently raising, but I'm also going to be starting up my Devil Gotchi as well as my Digital Monster version 4, which uh, you can see that I've still left the batteries in from when uh, Megadramon left us. So we'll probably be trying again for another Megadramon because I really just really like Megadramon and uh, I think I might start up my version 5 as well at some point, just not today because I don't want to deal with too many babies, but people in the DDC server are currently running version 4s and version 5s and uh, I get massive virtual pet fear of missing out, so I'm starting up my version 4 and maybe version 5 tomorrow or something. Anyway, so the Devil Gotchi I'm starting up because, one, I bought this like quite a while ago now because I got it for a fairly good deal on Gumtree. It was, uh, I think it was like 150 Australian, maybe 200, not, which is, sounds like it's a lot, but it's actually uh, not as much as Devil Gotchi is known to go for, which apparently the Devil Gotchi is just the most expensive Tamagotchi virtual pet, so while paying that much may not be completely unknown for uh, Digimon Virtual Pet fans, that's actually quite a lot for Tamagotchis. And it's probably my one of my most expensive slash rarest Tamagotchi Virtual Pets, uh, other than the Santa Gotchi, which I'm also saving for a special season, I'm saving that for Christmas. So I've basically saved this to only run uh, for Halloween, and because Halloween starts on October 1st, or I mean, I'm just an Australian, so I only know what the internet has told me, and apparently Halloween can start from anywhere between, like, July to October 1st. So, it's Halloween now. Anyway, so I put a tab in it just because I thought it would be fun to uh, start it up together. And, uh, yeah, so it's very exciting. So, I noticed that in the Tamatown Discord server, people are running their uh, spooky-themed virtual pets. So, that's why I thought I'd... Uh, I join in by starting up my Devil Gotchi at long last, and I might just move the camera a little bit closer because I am getting the uh, reflections from the lights in the light box just above. So, yeah. So let's take out the tab, and uh, it makes a very high-pitched noise, which I was concerning at first when I first put the batteries in, but apparently that's completely normal for the uh, the Devil Gotchi. So we've got a cute little devil man. Alright, so just move it again because the light is just a little bit in the way, so just bear with me for a moment while I move that across slightly. Um, I've got a new, a slightly new setup uh, today. I've got a new table, which uh, is just a cheap uh, table that you can adjust from eBay, so it's just part of my, uh, that's even worse for the light behind me. Um, oh well. So let's try and get that light out of the frame because that's annoying. So yes, uh, as I mentioned a few videos ago, this is very much a learning experience for, uh, for me in terms of how to uh, make the videos not terrible. Anyway. So at the time, because it's a Saturday, I'm not doing this at the crack of dawn, it is 1.24pm. I hope the noises are meant to be sounding like this, they sound very different from other uh, virtual pets, they seem a lot deeper, which I guess it would make sense because it is a uh, a monster themed pet. It's not as uh, light and friendly as the other ones. So yeah. So as I said, this is the first time I've actually run the Devil Gotchi, and I've actually not run the. Uh... Oop! I just pressed the time across, which is very slow because it's an old pet. So I haven't run the Angel Gotchi as well. So maybe I'll run that once I'm done with the Devil Gotchi. But I have no, I, I'm going in this completely blind. I don't know what's on it. I don't really know what the difficulty is like. I'm not sure. I hope it's not as uh, hard as the ocean because that was not 
fun at all. So yeah, I think that's just its egg hatching. It's just kind of flapping its wings. I have no idea. As I said, completely blind because that's kind of how I like to approach my virtual pets for the first time. Completely, completely unknown. So let's also start up the version 4. And there's the version 4 egg. And uh, of course I'm using the same shell as I always do, even though I actually have that uh, that other uh, version 4 shell. I just uh, I prefer this one. I like the blue. I like the D1. It makes me feel special by having it. So while that's hatching, a quick update. So still have Kuagamon. Hopefully we get an, uh, an evolution from Kuagamon at some point. Uh, I didn't shake the egg, so I'm fairly uh, pessimistic. What else do we have? We have uh, Gomamon, and I'm aiming for Plesiomon. And I was very surprised that Plesiomon doesn't actually evolve from Zudomon. So I do still want to get Plesiomon, because that's the exclusive. So I'm going to aim for a Kakumon, and then if I jogress a Kakumon into... I think Mega Seedramon, and then I can Jogress Mega Seedramon into Plesiomon. I know it's definitely two Jogresses away, so turns out I'm not going to be punished by forgetting to shake that uh, that egg. So that's not too bad. Version 6, uh, I'm getting the, the care mistakes. For, oh, I'm assuming that's a Devil Gotchi, that terrible, terrifying noise. See, so yeah, I'm still getting care mistakes on the version 6. That is... Isn't that one of the bad ones in, um, isn't that one of the angry, uh, the bad care mistakes, so you feed them pie? Oh, I just got an alert from my phone saying that, uh, the, the phone is apparently very hot, so video quality may decrease. So I don't know what that means, and I also don't know what the, uh, devil gotcha is upset about. That was apparently just its face it was making. So the start is zero days old. I'm not sure how well you can see. The, the uh, screen is appearing very dark on the phone, a lot darker than my other virtual pets. So he's hungry, he's not too happy, and he's got devil points, I'm assuming DP would mean. So he has pie and chocolate. So uh, you feed him pie and chocolate. So you feed him snacks. Oh, uh, that's kind of cute. Does that mean that the angel only eats, like, healthy food? So these are the games, I think. Nope, I'm putting him to bed. I have no idea what I've just done. Maybe I do need a guide. Maybe going in completely blind is uh, bad because he keeps on beeping at me. Maybe he was sick. I have no idea, like, is that throwing a bottle? Can I throw a bottle at him? I cannot, honestly, not tell what any of these icons mean. I'm completely going, okay, that's the light on and off. That makes sense. That's feeding. I already know that one. That one I thought would be the game. This one is uh, cleaning poo. Okay. So everything's the same position. I just don't understand what the game was uh, because it seemed to just make him upset. Do I just press a button? Oh, it's a catch game. Which I think I'm very bad at. And doesn't the buttons don't seem to do anything. And now he's asleep. Okay, no idea about that game. We'll have to read about that. That is weird. Um, maybe I'm just very stupid and completely missing it out. I'm really hoping the, the video quality is turning out okay, by the way, because that, uh, that uh, message I just received on my phone was uh, very concerning. But uh, yeah, so it is spring and it is now like 30 degrees, so I am very unhappy with it being hot again. Uh, please give me back my winter. So what do I have on my wave three? I have the adults and uh, yeah, I've got their battles in, so I'm mainly just waiting around for them to evolve. And every time I run a DM20, I think I forget how much they poo. So yeah. What do I have on this? I have Waymon, who is asleep, and I have Piermon. So the aim is Piermon evolving to Vidramon, and then Vidramon naturally evolving to Aerovidramon, and then Aerovidramon naturally evolving to Ulforce. So fingers crossed, because that's all natural evolutions, no jogressing. So that's uh, a little harder. Now V4 egg is still hatching, because 
OG bricks kind of just take their time. And I think that's everyone. I have uh, Raphaelzamon and Impeldramon who are both paused. And that's because I'm lazy on weekends, but also I just started up two virtual pets. So it's okay to pause some things. I really would like to figure out what that game is. And I think I'm going to give it another shot. So I'm guessing that may, th that one's probably medicine. That one is... Maybe that's discipline. Maybe discipline than medicine. I don't know, the icons aren't as clear as they usually are. That one's definitely some catch game, but I'm not very good at it. And it just seems to move, and nothing I'm pressing seems to uh, do anything. He's just moving back and forth. It's probably super obvious, and I'm probably... And then he goes to bed and gets upset with me. That's weird. Again, I'm probably terrible. I don't know what it means when he's sitting in the dark. Does he want me... Does that, is that a clean poo situation? Is that a turn the lights on and off? No, I can't do anything when he's like that. He's just... Maybe I need to uh, discipline him? Nope, he just does that. All right, uh, I will need a manual, but I won't look too much information because, again, I like going in blind. But this one seems a little harder to go completely in blind with. But, uh, yeah, still fairly happy. I'm finally running the Devil Gotchi for the spooky season. And then, of course, uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be running a uh, a 3.5 for the spooky season. Oh, speaking of which, my version 3 is still alive. He's just... Uh, I've, I've just paused him. So the Pendulum OGs, you can pause by going to the time setting and moving into set time. So he just kind of sits like that, and that's like that just because... Oh, I will jogress him, but I just don't feel like jogressing him at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm running at the moment. Uh, wish me more luck with the Devil Gotchi, because so far I don't understand the game, and that's kind of a problem. Maybe it's me being completely thick. Maybe um, I'm going to upload this video, and then throughout the day I'm just going to receive lots of comments about how silly I am for not knowing the, uh, the game on the Devil Gotchi. Maybe it's super duper obvious, and I'm just having a moment. So, uh, yeah. So far, the sprite's cute, kind of. Um, I, I would like to spend more time with working out all the different options. Um, hopefully it's easier than the ocean, because uh, the ocean gave me kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit of concern to do with playing the, uh, the vintage hammers, because the vintage hammers are all fairly hard. But uh, yes, that's what I'm running at the moment. Tentamon's getting cam mistakes to become Gekomon. And uh, yeah, we're more or less sorted, and hopefully the, the quality of this video is okay after that message. I'm sorry if it's not. Maybe this is a problem I'm going to have as we move into summer. I don't know. It's just very, very warm. So thanks for watching. Sorry in advance for the bad quality, and uh, please <laughs> wish me luck for the Devil Gotchi. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!